Today we're taking a look at the UEKM30 ergonomic keyboard. Aruhu had contacted me about reviewing this keyboard. You can tell it's the first time I've heard that name. This looked like a pretty interesting ergonomic alternative to the Microsoft Natural Keyboard, especially since this one was wireless, so I was happy to take a look at it. This isn't one of the flashy gaming keyboards, but that's not a bad thing. I'm actually a huge fan of ergonomically designed keyboards, such as this one. I've been using split and raised keyboards similar to this UEKM30 for a few years now, and I really like them. This keyboard features a natural typing experience with the raised and split layout. Typing on this was very easy, and I didn't really notice any fatigue after a full workday. The key designs are actually curved a little bit, which helps create a certain feeling when you're typing that I found to be enjoyable. The keys themselves are relatively short. I would say in terms of the width of the keys, they're pretty much standard versus like the Microsoft Natural Keyboard. That one has pretty large keys, and some of them are super oversized. As for the key type, the product page doesn't say exactly what it is, but it did feel good. In terms of the travel, it did seem like you needed to fully press the keys down. There was a bit of change in the resistance, around 50%, but you did need to press the key all the way down in order for the character to appear. I liked the feeling from the key press, and the sound it produced was actually quite nice in my opinion. The sound was a little bit louder than a general office keyboard, but it wasn't anything like the clicky distraction that Cherry MX switches can be on gaming keyboards. This keyboard did not have the same type of customizable keys that you see on some others for media or other customizable shortcuts, but that did mean that this keyboard was a little bit thinner or shorter. I also have a Microsoft Natural keyboard, and that keyboard is significantly larger, making it a little bit cumbersome on smaller desks. The Uruhu keyboard fits much nicer, especially if you're concerned with space. The wrist area is hard plastic, but it does feel nice. The UEKM30 has front side keyboard legs to give the keyboard that extra little boost of height in the front to help take the stress off of your wrists. I like that feature in ergonomic keyboards, and I think it's kind of a shame that it's not included on all of them, so I'm definitely glad to see it here. In my testing, I was able to get about 15 to 20 feet away from my PC in my house before the connection became unreliable. The keyboard is powered by two AA batteries, which it does come with. This keyboard is smaller than the Microsoft option, but it is actually a bit heavier, which I kind of like. With the extra little bit of weight and the nice feet on this keyboard, you're definitely not going to accidentally bump or move this. Especially if you have a feline office manager that likes to get up on your desk and knock some of your stuff around or just off the desk in general. Overall, I would say that I really liked the UEKM30. I thought this was a good take on an ergonomic office keyboard with a few nice attention to detail touches that made it feel just a little bit better. If you're looking for a budget-friendly, wireless, ergonomic keyboard, I would definitely take a look at this one.